Hey everyone, folks, are all come back another Pawn Master video, and today let's talk a bit about the anniversary again, which um we should be expecting maybe a trailer of some sorts um later today or maybe a bit later than that, I guess, depending on 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 where you live, right? I mean, again, the time zones. Um, Pawn Master said it was on the 17th, right? But again, time zones, right? Um. A lot of you guys are probably already in the 18th in different areas, but we're still in the 17th, right? So it might be very, very later on today, which again would be 18th for a lot of you guys. But anyways, whatever, I digress. So last time we talked a bit about the obvious answer, which at least I feel it's like like it's the obvious answer because they showed us a bit in the trailer, right? With the um, uh, the one where we got in the Pokemon Presents. It didn't show us a lot, but it did show us like a really, really quick snapshot of, of obviously Red with Pikachu waiting for a certain challenger uh, running up to him, which is probably going to be ash right so i feel like that's that's most likely the 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 the, the like biggest um uh, possibility over there but that aside right what if it's not that or what if there's a third unit because if you guys do remember last year anniversary we had three you know um master fair uh anniversary units okay so what if there's like a third one in there or what if it's just not them at all? What if they're just there for story and like the anti units are more different? Like, you know, or, or maybe they're in like a second half of the anniversary, right? Like how like Zarina was treated. Um, because like in the 2.5 year anniversary, we first got, you know, the three Poke Fairs anniversary, May, Raihan, and, and Skyla, which were all great and all, but like they're not exactly the big, big pop off that, you know, SS. Uh, Serena and this freaking, you know, Mass Affair Zygarde was, right? Um, I do feel like uh, some people don't count uh, SS Serena as part of the 2.5 year anniversary, which I think makes no sense personally. Um, I think not only should you count SS Serena and Zygarde in the 2.5 year anniversary, um, I also think she's like the main focus of the 2.5 year anniversary. But, anyways, um, that aside, we ha I, I feel like we gotta look at some other options as well. So, when looking at some other options, there's a few things we would like to consider and maybe not, not consider, right? So first of all, we do have the Champion Stadium list of weaknesses all the way up to the anniversary week, right? Anniversary is August 29th. There's a list of weaknesses on the 29th. Um, very likely there could be, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll come back to the likeliness of this in a bit, but yeah, that's one thing to consider, right? Another thing to consider is how hype are the trainers? I swear to God, do not tell me we're going to have anniversary mustard. People do not care about mustard that much. I'm sorry if you like mustard personally. I mean, I liked mustard. I also like, um, I like the all of armor characters. I like mustard. I like honey. I thought they were cool. Clara, Avery. The anniversary units are, is not going to be freaking, all right? Not going to be freaking peony, all right? <laughs> okay. Our past anniversary units, Signusuit Red, Singsuit Blue, Singsuit Leaf, um, Leon, right? Uh, I mean, if you want to count them, Diantha, Champion Iris, whatever, right? Last year was freaking anniversary Steven, uh, Lily, N. Uh, even the 2.5 year, you know, half anniversary, even though I, I do think that was probably like the weakest in terms of trainers. We got like Serena, May, Raihan, like Scott, like we like we think about the characters, right? You, when you're thinking about this, you can't be a Pokemon Masters fan. You have to be a just a general, your normie, you know, regular person who likes Pokemon, doesn't maybe not know that much about Masters. He likes the big guys, the Cynthia's, the Stevens, the Leon's, the Reds, whatever, right? It has to be a popular character. They're they're not gonna sell. Um, what's that guy with the with the with the you know that that hasn't Ryuki, right? <laughs> they're not gonna give you Ryuki for anniversary just because he's not in the game yet or whatever, right? And uh, to that point, I do feel like. If we are going to talk about some other potential options, um, it's probably not going to be a new character because I don't think there are any like new characters that are big enough for the anniversary. Like the biggest um, new characters that like aren't in the game yet, outside of I guess uh, Hasuin characters, which I, I don't really think they're gonna really do Hasui for like the anniversary. Um, but 
I mean, if they are gonna do Hosui, then the anniversary is gonna be fully Hosui, right? But like outside of like Hosui characters, like the biggest like characters not in the game right now is like AZ and like Victor, which you know they are big. I mean, AZ is literally very big, <laughs> but that's not, that's not like anniversary level characters, right? Okay. So, anyways, uh, a few things, other things to consider. Um, it is probably not gonna be a Hoenn character. Uh, because we're we literally just had the Hoenn villain arc, right? I mean, getting another Hoenn unit in there is going to be a bit too much. Plus, we had another Hoenn character in the 2.5 year anniversary, so we're taking out Hoenn, um, right? We're taking out most likely new characters, right? And, and even and even if you do want to argue, okay, maybe Colorus or um, oh, Colorus is another big one, right? Colorus or, or AZ is big enough. Yeah, they are big enough, but I, I I would just think they'd make more sense to be introduced in the respective villain arcs, right? Whether it's Unova villain arc or or Kalos villain arc, right? But anyways, that aside, so you have to consider the champion stadium weakness. You have to consider how big or popular the trainers are, and you have to also consider how big slash popular the Pokemon are, right? Like I, I see a lot of people saying, "Oh, maybe the legendary birds or Mesprit, which are cute and all, and and they're they're great, but." It's the anniversary, <laughs> okay? And and it's not like the half-year anniversary, because half-year anniversary, you could have that, right? Because 2.5-year anniversary, we had, like, what? Mega Latias, we had, like, Flygon was a half-year anniversary uh, Pokemon. We had, um, what was the other one? Uh, Tornadus, which, you know, if you put those kind of, those, those level of, you know, Pokemon in the half-year anniversary, sure, makes sense, right? But what have we had in the full-year anniversary so far? Mega Venusaur, Mega Blastoise, right shiny mega Rayquaza, which is probably one of the top biggest you know i'd say but shiny mega Rayquaza is definitely top three easily you know easily top three top five most popular pokemon bar none right um uh, within the pokemon fandom so there's a, what lunala reshiram so you gotta be you, the pokemon has to be i feel like has you have to give it up to stature and then the trainers have to be up to stature, right? So anyways, okay, so let, let's start with the weaknesses. Here's one thing I have an issue with people guessing based, in, uh, based on the weaknesses of the champion stadium. There's electric weak. Electric weak means most likely that will be reserved for a Pikachu, whether it's Ash Pikachu, whether it's Red Pikachu, we don't exactly know yet, but I would say most likely it's reserved for a Pikachu, and if you're saying, well, okay, well, maybe it's not Pikachu, what about the other weaknesses? Okay, we can look at those weaknesses, let's look at some of the legendary Pokemon that are, you know, weak to those sort of types. Are there any Bug-type legendary Pokemon? There's two, uh, Buzzwell and Feromosa, both of which are in the game at the moment right i'm pretty sure those are the only two and i highly doubt they're gonna bring back a buzzwool or Feromosa. oh i guess genesect is the other one but i also do feel like genesect is a weird one because genesect you'd think it would be with like cholerus right when the villain arc for unova drops right but genesect would definitely be the biggest like bug type pokemon over here but again i i just feel like it would be more fitted for like the unova villain arc right rather than right now so could they maybe do like a shiny buzzwell or shiny Feromosa over here with the champion stadium maybe 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 not i i just don't think it's just ultra beasts versus literally like shiny mega Rayquaza, or we don't even have to like compare it to shiny mega Rayquaza. that's like too big right but like compared to lunala uh, ultra beast versus lunala you're not really up to standard over there right um what else do we have Grass Week. There are a lot of grass type legendaries, right? Obviously, uh, and here you got stuff like Kartana. We've talked about the Ultra Beast thing. Tabu Bulo, I think, is an interesting one. Maybe it could be like a BP sort of, you know, situation, but outside of that, maybe Verizian, because there is also, I think, um, fighting, right? Yeah, there there is also fighting type, so that, like, fits for, like, both types, but, but again, like, like, like who, like what's what's gonna be like with Verizian, Rosa Verizian maybe, but like on the other hand, it's like, also it's just it's like it's a sub legendary, right? It's a sub legendary. It's not like a big main legendary. I don't even think is Verizian even as big as like Tornadus that we've gotten both, you know, being universe sub legendaries. I feel like Tornadus is a bigger, you know, more popular 
um, sub legendary than like Virizion is, right? Both again, both from Unova. So um, yeah, what else uh, in terms of grass type ones? Calyrex. But then that would go into maybe we'll we will be introducing like new characters for Calyrex. Would it be like Peony and Calyrex? That would be slightly weird. But mm, but like is is Peony Calyrex really gonna be like anniversary level? Right? I I don't really know. Also, I do feel like the Sword and Shield DLC characters they like we just had Dojo Gloria and Urshifu. We had Dojo Gloria and Urshifu as just a Pokefair. Is Peony and Calyrex going to be that? Even if you do think Peony and Calyrex is bigger than Dojo Gloria and Urshifu, right? Gloria is, I think, one of the top protagonists, right? Um, in terms of popularity right now, I mean, I'm not going to say she, she's not like red levels, but like she, she's in the middle slash top, right? In terms of popularity uh, within the normie, I guess, Pokemon fandom. As for Calyrex, again, I, I, I just don't think it's like as. I, I don't think it's going to be as big as like. Dojo Gloria and Urshifu, and Dojo Gloria and Urshifu was just like a Poke Fair, right? Celebi already, we just got. I don't think we're gonna get another Celebi in time. Shaman is relatively popular, right? Shaman is definitely pretty popular. But again, we just had like stuff like we had Deoxys, right? We just had Deoxys, and I do think Deoxys is. I think Deoxys is more popular than Shaman, right? And and then like. And, and Deoxys wasn't a mass fair. Deoxys was just like a regular Poke Fair in, in the villain arc. But then again, we had Celebi, which was a, you know, which which was a mythical mass fair. So, and I think Shaman's, I don't think Shaman's as, as, as popular as Celebi, but Shaman's on, you know, relatively same levels of, of like a mythical Pokemon as, as like Celebi. So I don't think Shaman's like completely out of the question. If, 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 if this is to be followed, right? The champion stadium weaknesses. So like maybe like a Shaman with, I don't know, who are you going to put Shaman with? Shaman with like another Donald, right? Maybe, I guess. Shaman with, uh, with an Oak alt would be slightly weird, but maybe Shaman and Oak. Who knows, right? Uh, what else? That's uh, Zarude. Zarude, I do think, is an interesting one, because if they are gonna give us, um, if they are gonna give us like Ash, right? That's obviously has tie into the anime. Last year, was it last year or the year before? Remember when they first did the first anime collab? They collabed it with, um, uh, with 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 Jesse and James, um, trying to catch the shiny Celebi, right? And that was like the tie into the Zarude movie, which I didn't watch. So, I mean, if you guys know more about the Zarude movie, let me know, right? Because I, I didn't watch it. Um, but yeah, maybe there could be like a Zarude. I'm just not sure who it's going to be with. I don't think they're going to throw in like another anime character. I, I don't know that guy, but there's, there's that. Wasn't there like that guy on the Zarude movie poster? I don't know who that is, but like maybe if they're connected. But yeah, I, I don't think that's really that much of a possibility either. Right? So let's see. What's the other weakness? Fighting are there that many fighting type? We just got Marsh out. Obviously probably not gonna get Marsh out again Keldeo like a shiny Keldeo with like Rosa again, or I don't know like I'm I just keep on saying Rosa But like Rosa is like one of the big like Rosa to like in the early stages of Paul Masters Yeah, she was basically the main character <laughs> the main character was like kind of like Rosa, right? so and, and, and Rosa has not gotten anything ever since December of 2019, which is a very, very long time, right? Hilda's got two alts since then, and they're both obviously Gen 5 Protags, and Rosa is the bigger, you know, Protag, right? In terms of Poem Masters, right? If you want to talk about, like, Poem Masters, outside of Red, Rosa is probably, like, the biggest Protag, and she hasn't gotten anything since December 2019. So I'm trying to, like, shoehorn in, like, a Rosa in here somehow. So, like, Rosa Verizian, Rosa Keldeo. But but again, I do feel like if we do get a Keldeo in the future, like another Keldeo, it would be more of like a water Keldeo, just because we already have like fighting Keldeo with Diantha, right? I, I just I, I would just think water Keldeo would make a bit more sense. Unless it's like a support, then it doesn't really matter. But yeah, what else do we got for fighting? We got we got obviously the Swords of Justice people, right? Um, Zamazenta. I don't I don't think Zamazenta. <laughs> Zamazenta is just unfortunately not very popular. If you look at like all the like the um cover legendaries, Zamazenta is really really unpopular. Un it's mostly unfortunately due to how freaking popularization is, right? But 
Yeah, let's see what else we got. I I'm not saying Zamzenta is completely out of the question, so like maybe a shiny Zamzenta with like Leon or something. I, I, I don't know, but I, yeah, I don't, I don't really think it's like that big of an option. As for, uh, again, some of these guys, another Urshifu is very, very unlikely. We just got one, right? Uh, we've talked about Buzzwell, Feromosa, and then the Swords of Justice guys. We have Cobalion in the BP shop. A shiny Cobalion, maybe. I, I don't really think so. Terrakion. We talked about Verizion. Terrakion, just like, uh, who could, like, really Terrakion be with? Is there really any, like, like, I, I don't, I can't, I can't really link Terrakion to like a trainer. Like, if you want to think of like any Unova characters, can't really link them to anything. So I don't really feel like Terrakion is that. Again, also it's a sub legendary. It's not like that big, right? In comparison to again, Lunala, Reshiram, Shiny Mega Rayquaza, right? Um, so yeah, again, it doesn't have to be as you know high tier of popularity as, as little Pokemon. But I mean, it's Terrakion. Come on, right? I sometimes I forget it exists. I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually, it's, it's all right. Anyways, moving on. Um, but yeah, speaking of Terrakion, there's also Rock, right? Which obviously Terrakion is is uh, Rock and Fighting. Uh, but as for other ones, Red Rocks in the BP shop. I don't think it's very likely. Also, it's Hoenn, right? Which we've already talked about. You know, we just had the whole VA. Probably not going to happen. Nihiligo is a pretty big UB. Like in terms of like all the Ultra Beasts, it's like Nihiligo and Naganadel are like the biggest ones, right? So, like a Nihiligo with another Lily, I don't, I really don't think we're getting another Lily. We've gotten like way too many Lilies. We have like four different Lilies, plus we had Lily as an anniversary last year. I don't think uh, Lily, also I don't think Lily, Anna, and Steven are getting anniversary alts, if that wasn't obvious enough. Lily and, uh, Lily and Steven, May, Skyla, and Rihon are not getting an anniversary alt. As much as people like to joke about, you know, the next unit is going to be Lily plus whatever random Pokemon because people, I don't know, just uh, people think that's funny. I, I, I don't know why it's funny. <laughs> it's like the, it's the same joke like over and over again. Um, stack attack, uh, no, come on, right? If Nihiligo is not coming in, stack attack is not freaking, you know, making the cut, all right? Uh, what else for rock type? Wow, no main legendary. Yeah, almost none of the main legendaries fit any of these typings, honestly. Right, we, we skipped electric just because, again, like I mentioned before, electric you know, obviously you peak to. Dancy is a pretty, I, I'd say Dancy is pretty popular. Um, r uh, uh, mythical, although we did already have, um, obviously Dancy with, with Hilda, but could like a shiny Dancy here, maybe, right? Who would she be with? Maybe we'll finally get the uh, Diantha Diancy connection, right? I, I don't really know, but that, yeah, that's basically it. But here's the main point I want to. Uh, make about these champion stadium weaknesses i don't think that they're that relevant i just don't think it i in fact i do i even think that all the weaknesses outside of electric right which could be for pikachu outside of electric week i think that the bug week grass week fighting week and rock week we could basically ignore all those i think we could basically ignore all those types which what i mean is that the Annie unit is not going to be rock type. It's not going to be fighting type, not going to be grass type, not going to be bug type. So we could just gloss over that. If you're wondering why, if we look at last year, right? Last year, the exact same week, right? August 29th. August 29th, December 4th. August 29th to, um, a different time zone. But yeah, right? For that week, what did we have? We had grass week, psychic week, ghost week, dragon week, and poison week. Who were our anniversary units? We had Annie Lily, I think was first right was any lily first or, or yeah yeah any lily and then we had um any and i think was second and then annie steven right i think that was the order if i remember correctly yeah yeah the the, the order was uh lily and 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 lance and obviously none of those weaknesses are really represented here except for like if you really 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 want to be annoying and like argue ah uh, but you know Steven has Draco Meteor versus the, the, the Dragon Week Lance. No, 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 no one cares. Um, so, anyways, so, yeah, my, my point being, uh, none of the main weaknesses were really represented in that last week of the Champion Stadium, except for the first one that came, right? Except for the first one that came. And if one of those peak two units are coming in the first week, then that's only, probably going to be the only one. If we look at week 54, that's when we had the Fire Week, which was for... Reshiram, right? That's when we had it for Reshiram. Still no Annie Steven weakness. We got another week of Ghost Week. 
right? And then in week 55, that's when we finally got the flying week for, again, uh, obviously, Annie Steven. So if you look, again, at all the other weaknesses, none of them came up outside of that half Annie Steven dragon lancing. So instead of what we usually do is look at these weaknesses and guess what the Pokemon is based on these weaknesses, I think instead this time we could just completely take them out completely take them out because i do feel like they have caught on a bit to us um you know uh guessing pokemon based on the weakness of the last week of the champion stadium so they might have caught on to that and they're spreading it out a bit all right S uh just for us to not guess it and maybe to mislead us so maybe maybe the real answer is none of these weaknesses outside of again the potential for for electric week right so if we're looking at that then well, what are some other options? Are we out of clues? I don't really think so. Here's one thing. Um, I do feel like if, again, if it's not going to be Red and Ash, right, or, or like if it's going to be like a third unit alongside Red and Ash, that has to be something really, really big, right? It has to be a big, it has to be one, a, a main legendary Pokemon or like a really, really big mythical. I don't think there really are that many like huge like sub legendaries uh, like outside of, like maybe like urshifu which again we've already like gotten right and like oh, just look at these sub legendaries man <laughs> what's like the biggest sub legendary here it's like suicune maybe is the most popular one ever and we just got like suicune right probably not gonna get another suicune anytime soon like outside of that like maybe the kanto birds could we maybe get another kanto trio with the kanto birds slight possibility slight possibility <laughs> i just don't think it's very very high of a possibility right so yeah in terms of like if we're looking at regions right if we're taking out hoenn that leaves us i feel like with the most like possibility to get a a like you know in terms of region wise for for like the, the trainer slash pokemon i guess uh, that would be what that'll leave us um with kanto obviously but kanto most likely it's just going to be red slash ash either one of them or both right um, and then it's what Johto, Sinnoh, Unova, which hasn't gotten too much in a. Actually, that's not true. We just got N and Hilda, right? Um, I mean, we've basically gotten like a character from like each region, like all relatively recently, right? Except for like Kanto, which, by the way, in that last video, I, I forgot to mention your Sabrina, which the worst mistake I've ever made on my channel. I apologize to my queen sabrina i'm i'm sorry i will never do that again um but yeah like uh, as of that like generally uh regions have gotten pretty recent uh additions right kalos just got ss karina we just got dojo gloria from unova we just uh, not unova from galar we got uh nn hilda from unova obviously the the hoenn vilnark the johto vilnark right uh the elite four from Sinnoh, all that stuff were all really 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 recent um did we get anything from Alola recently? What was the most re recent Alola unit? Oh, oh, it was um, it was uh, Essie Lily, which to be fair was a bit ago, right? Was a bit ago. So I do feel like uh, you know maybe Alola could be a, a, a big possibility, right? But uh, yeah, mostly the regions have gotten recent summonable units, right? Again, the longest one was Kanto, which was this New Year's, right? Um, which was. The I guess well technically one day before New Year, and then the second longest we've it was like a, a, a Lola, right? So um, yeah, if you want to like go by region, I feel like everyone outside of like everyone is relatively recent, but then everyone also kind of has a chance outside of like Hoenn, right? So uh, if we're looking into legendaries, again, I do feel like legendaries are the big are the big possible ones. If we're looking at the legendaries that aren't in the game yet, right? Because we basically almost had all of them in the game. Actually, have we actually... Okay, we actually have all of them in the game, except for Calyrex, right? Calyrex is the only one that's not in the game. That's not in the game, right? So... Unless you want to count, like, regular form Necrozma, which... All right. Or if you want to co count Cosmog and Cosmo. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're not counting that, all right? We're, um, we're, we're, we're a serious channel here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so um, here's 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 what I think. If they are going to give us like a big uh, legendary, it's gonna be a shiny. We've gotten shiny legendaries before. Last year we got shiny Mega Rayquaza. All right? Is it is is there too many Pokemon that's gonna be bigger than shiny Mega Rayquaza? Again, I don't really think so. But 
like even if you like shiny any of these right i feel like any like close competitor like a closest competitor to like something as big as shiny records would be like a shiny mewtwo shiny mega mewtwo maybe but like you know uh, outside of that yeah shiny pokemon in terms of which shiny legendaries we would be getting probably maybe one of the shiny earlier ones here's the ones i feel like we're probably not going to be getting we're probably not going to be getting a shiny lugia um obviously ho where to have a shiny ho lugia ho kyogre groudon rayquaza um maybe dialga maybe garatina right um maybe maybe reshiram just because we got reshiram as the anniversary unit last year right um and uh zygarde also a bit too recent lunala just because we got it last year as well and maybe necrozma it was relatively recent not like super super recent but yeah i, I feel like uh we can maybe take those options out right and then look at we what we have left right we got mewtwo palkia zekrom kurum xerneas uh Yveltal, solgaleo right zacian zamzenta uh and then eternatus for like shiny options let's talk about uh one i think is pretty i i feel like could be a pretty big possibility which is um leon right because we they are doing the ash thing they're not doing the ash thing like out of the goodness of their heart or whatever right i mean well it could be part of that but it's mostly because the anime is trying to collab with paul masters to promote their masters 8 arc right and most people are theorizing that potentially the final battle of the masters 8 arc is going to be leon versus uh ash right that's probably the most likely outcome uh leon versus ash being the finals and in that case could we potentially be getting a leon alt here i think it could be possible i think it could be possible again people can blame oh leon alts he has 10 billion to the power of six alts which uh, he does have a lot of alts but you know it doesn't matter anniversary needs big popular characters we that's people complain about people uh, the same characters keep on getting alts but there are certain amount of characters there's only a certain amount of characters in the game that are popular enough for big celebrations to get keep people the the normie you know pokemon audience playing right and leon is one of them unfortunately if you hate leon fortunately if you love leon right but yeah in that case leon could be an option i feel um people have been saying oh maybe battle tower leon with uh, like drag ball well probably not um is it an option yes i don't really think it is that big of an option because drag ball is just unfortunately not that big of a pokemon plus if we're looking at like i would say an anniversary all is more likely than like a battle tower alt. if it is like a battle tower leon i do feel like it would be in a similar situation as like gloria dojo gloria and urshifu right they might like release him at like one of those kind of periods rather than like right on the anniversary um because i i, I don't know I, I just don't feel like characters with like already established alts in the main series i don't feel like they're really gonna be getting spotlights during the anniversary because so far all the anniversary units have either been anniversary alts right or Cygna suits which are all you know pokemon masters uh original alts plus leon because he's leon <laughs> okay <laughs> right um but yeah in terms of that like what could leon have could leon get another eternatus i don't think so i don't think leon's getting another freaking eternatus could leon maybe get a shiny zacian that could be a possibility i feel like leon could could potentially get a shiny zacian maybe a fairy type shiny zacian uh, because fairy types are pretty freaking down bad right now so like a sh shiny fairy zacian with like fairy zone or something <laughs> could be a big big boost for fairy types right and a very very much needed boost for fairy types could it be like zamzenth instead maybe could it be calyrex uh, maybe i i wouldn't really put too much stock into calyrex though but you know I mean, he does have, like, the other half, um, right? He, uh, what's that thing called again? Like, a, a glass, glass, glass trier, right? He does have glass trier as, like, another alt, so there's, like, maybe that distinct possibility. But as of that, like, I do feel like if we're looking at the Galar Pokemon, 
and what Leon's gonna get, a Leon could potentially get, or a potential Leon <laughs> could get, right? I do feel like a Shinyization is probably the highest possibility out of all of these, right? Because I, I do feel like if we're honing in onto like a specific character, um, Leon is very, very likely with, again, all the anime Masters 8 stuff, right, coming in. As for some other options, right, going back, uh, looking at all these other ones, Sogaleo, right? I do feel like Sogaleo is a pretty big possibility because if you do look at the shiny Pokemon that we've, or shiny legendaries that we've gotten so far, shiny Rayquaza and shiny Ho, those both, those units are very early on legendary event legendaries that we've got really early on, right? First one we got was Mewtwo, second we got was Sogaleo, third I think, was third Rayquaza or was third, I think third was Rayquaza and the fourth was Ho, right? So we got number three and number four with shinies, so we don't have number one and number two yet. So could there be a possibility we got Shiny Sogaleo this time around, right? But like the thing with Shiny Sogaleo is, who are they gonna pair him with? There's like a Lola characters. There's a lot of Lola characters, a lot of very, very lovable Lola characters. I love, I really, really do love the Lola cast personally, right? But there really isn't like that guy in Lola outside of Lily, which we've already established, probably not going to be getting another alt here, right? Outside of Lily, there really isn't the Alola character, right? Like, the big Alola characters. Um, it's like, there's like, Lily, all the way up here, and like, everywhere, everyone else. <laughs> there's a lot of really nice ones, there's not like any Lily-level characters for Alola, like there are for like, I'd say, other regions. Um, right uh as 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 much although I, i'd say most regions have this situation it's not really like an alola thing specifically like like for example like in Sinnoh, there's like cynthia and like everyone else and like you know and in, in hoenn there's like steven maybe argue i don't know i i don't think pro tags are really that fair outside of like kanto right and like everyone else and then obviously kanto you got red blue leaf everyone else maybe even like red blue and then leaf and then everyone else i don't know Right, it's sort of that time, and like, who could Solaleo be with? We say Gladian, just so we could have like an alt for all three of the Aether family. Personally, I would love that. Personally speaking, I would love that. Um, but I'm just not sure, like, is Gladian really that big, right, to be there, right? So what about like maybe like Selene or Elio alts? I also don't think they're gonna be like that big enough, right? Uh, either to 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 be like. Anniversary Celine or Anniversary Elio with Shiny Sogaleo, right? Like, you know, I mean, they are Protags, but I do feel like the Alolan Protags are not as popular as some of the other Protags because mostly I do feel like people generally associate Lily more with the main Alola, you know, storyline. Like, Lily is more the more of a protagonist in the Alolan stories than, like, the main characters, right? In comparison to maybe, like, like the like the Kanto protags or even the Johto or, or, or um I'd say especially like Hoenn and and Sinnoh Hoenn and Sinnoh, Sinnoh protags uh, I do feel like um stand out the most uh, Hoenn Sinnoh and Kalos protags stand out the most because those those are three games where like the if you don't pick the other protag the other protag does play a significant role in the story right so like in terms of that right so I'm not really sure. They're gonna do like so who they're who they're really gonna pair it up with. I highly doubt it's gonna be like another Luzamine. Even though Luzamine is big, I would argue Luzamine is more popular than like um than 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 uh Gl Gladian, right? Um although maybe we could be getting like another Luzamine alt when the Lola villain arc comes around, which should be in a in I would say maybe 10, 11 months, right? 10, 9, 9, 10, 11 months probably is going to be a Lola Villain arc. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, right? Um, so, yeah, moving on outside of Sogaleo, let's go back to Kalos. Xerneas and Eviltal, uh, I do feel like these could potentially get, get, um, uh, alts here as well. First of all, Kalos is slightly down bad, so could there be, like, a Diantha alt with a shiny Xerneas? I do feel like that is a possibility. I do feel like that, that is, mm, that is, could be a possibility. Maybe like a Kalem alt with like a shiny Evil Tall or, or 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 something. I can't really associate anyone else with Evil Tall outside of like Lysander, maybe A Z, which again A Z is not really in the game yet. Also, I just associate A Z more with like Floet, <laughs> right? So I don't know. 
Zer maybe Shiny Xerneas and Diantha, right? Because Diantha is also in the Masters 8. Although, I've, I've heard she's about to get destroyed. I, I don't know, I don't follow the anime. <laughs> but Diantha is also in the Masters 8, so I do feel like Diantha plus uh, Shiny Xerneas could be a very, very high possibility as well, right? So, so far, the biggest possibilities for me, I feel like, are like uh, Leon and like a Shiny Zacian, Shiny Sogaleo with maybe someone from a little, maybe Gladian, maybe one of the Protags, and then like Shiny Xerneas with like Diantha. Right, moving on to like the Gen 5 ones, Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kyurem. I don't really feel like the Kyurem forms are gonna be a factor here. I feel like the Kyurem forms, they're probably saving for the Unova Villain arc, which by the way, do keep in mind, is should be coming next, right? If they're going in order. If they're going in order, which they haven't, they kind of have been going in order, but like not strictly, because they did like Kanto first, and then jumped to Sinnoh. And then went back to Johto to do Johto, and then went back to do Hoenn. They kind of are going in order, but like also not really. They're just doing like the first four regions, but like in like a weird order. But like also have the first region. Of the I, it's weird, right? But most likely, Unova of Vilnark should be coming soon. And if that's the case, I do feel like Curum, Black White Curum, would be in Unova Vilnark rather than in the anniversary, right? Um. Shiny Reshiram again. Oh no no no, not Reshiram. Um, Shiny Zekrom maybe. What does does Shiny Zekrom look like? Look exactly the same. I'm slightly curious. I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not harm center what it what it looks like. Yeah, it looks basically the same, man. Shiny Zekrom will be very <gasps> underwhelming. This guy looks the same. It's like it's like a green tip here, and then like the eyes are blue. <laughs> Anyways, um, random slide at Shiny Zekrom. I'm sorry, but. Um, could Shiny Zekrom maybe be a factor there, but like, also, who are we pairing with? Although Unova does have a lot of characters. Um, if we are, okay, if we are gonna like, uh, create an opposite example for like, the Alola Lily situation, Unova would be, I guess, a apt comparison, uh, or, or, or apt like, opposite sort of, because Unova does have like, a lot of really, really big, uh, characters. Uh, personally, I would love an Alder alt, but... I also do acknowledge Alder is probably... Look at my favorite champions, man. My favorite champions are like the, like the least popular ones. My, my my number one favorite champion is Wallace, and like no one cares about Wallace. Um, and then I also like Alder a lot, and no one cares about Alder. Um, just because and took his spotlight, unfortunately. But yeah, like anyone else, could it be like a Rosa with Shiny Zekrom? Right, because again, I do feel like, man, Rosa kind of needs something, right? Right, I, I, I just have a just nagging feeling <laughs> that Rosa really deserves something soon. But again, maybe because the villain arc, Unova villain arc coming up soon, maybe we'll get a Rosa thing in the Unova villain arc. So yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about Zekrom because there's a possibility they're just saving all the Unova stuff for later, for the Unova potential upcoming Unova villain arc. So, alright, on to Giratina. The Sinnoh legendaries are in a weird position because I don't know if a the Sinnoh legendaries are like maybe they're a bit too recent to be put you know with a new shiny form and thrown into the anniversary, or if they're saving them for like Hisui, if they are ever gonna do Hisui at all. Which I have a theory on like why they might not do it anymore. <laughs> that's could be a, that's a separate topic though, right? But you know, obviously. People associate Origin Garatina with like Volo, which I still haven't finished it, but I got spoiled on it anyways, but whatever, right? And then, um, Dialga, I don't think, just, we just got Dialga, but like, maybe a Shiny Palkia with like a Dawn ult, maybe? I mean, we got two May ults, I mean, this year, it's not out of the question that Dawn could get another one of the Palkia, and Dawn is pretty freaking popular, or maybe Cynthia with Palkia, because Cynthia is the other one, um, in the Masters 8, right? Cynthia is the other one, uh, in Masters 8. Uh, I think it's down to like Masses 4 right now, whatever, I don't, I don't really, <laughs> I, I've not been following, I'm, I'm sorry, but, or maybe, could, could there be like Cynthia with Giratina again, but like Origin form, I don't really feel like it, just cause, it's just, just same person getting the same Pokemon is, even though N literally got like Reshiram and Sakura, but like, that's still like distinct enough, even though also it doesn't really, you know, <laughs> but whatever, right, um, could there be a Dawn Palkia, Dawn, Dawn Shiny Palkia, or Cynthia Shiny Palkia, Cynthia Shiny Giratina? 
or Don Shiny Giratina. I don't know. I think those those are the, the two main big Sinnoh characters, right? But for Sinnoh outside of like the main legendaries, I do feel like um like maybe like Arceus is pretty freaking big, right? Like of all the mythical Pokemon, it's like Mew, Arceus, and like maybe Celebi, Darkrai, Deoxys. Those are like the big ones, right? Maybe like Hoopa. I don't know Genesect, but. I also do feel like if they're doing Arceus, are they going to do it during the anniversary or are they going to like save it for like a future Hasuan arc thing, all right? If they're not going to do Hasuan, then Arceus for anniversary makes all the sense of the world. Arceus is, um, it's massive, right? I mean, it's the Pokemon God as they call it, right? Um, but you know, in that sense, well, who is Arceus really going to be with? A Donald? All right, again, Don, Cynthia, that's that's the that's two. Again, you'll keep on hearing the same names coming up because there's only that many massively popular characters in, in Pokemon, right? There are other characters that people love, but to the norm, do, again, do keep in mind, the anniversary, they're, they're trying to appeal to normie Pokemon audiences. So, could, could it be like a Don Arceus, Cynthia Arceus? Maybe, maybe. But if they are planning to do Hisui in the future, then maybe not Arceus, right? Maybe not Arceus, it might be saving Arceus for like some future Hisui thing going on. Um, as for the rest, oh, how funny would it be if the Arceus, you know, ends up with like Scotty Betty, the, the MCs of poem, poem matches. That would be incredibly funny because people keep on joking about how like 10 year old random, you know, freaking kids catch the god of Pokemon and then like they just give the so-called god of Pokemon and to like, you know. <laughs> the protax people always like hate on <laughs> and yeah, that'll be inc that will be a, that'll that'll be a generational troll actually i'm totally for that now it would be so funny people would be so mad i would love it um anyways <laughs> i I'm, I'm not loving people getting mad but people expressing their badness is is sometimes funny all right uh going over hoen uh ho lugia again mewtwo 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 is a big one again like i mentioned before if any pokemon Rivals shiny mega Rayquaza. I feel like it would be a shiny mega Mewtwo Here's a few things about it though one Mewtwo is Psychic type only right and then are people just gonna cry about oh no psychic type again even though if it's powerful enough It's just as powerful as Deoxys The psychic type again does not matter. It straight up does not matter that it's psychic type But the normie audience doesn't really get that I feel um, but Outside of that, we do have a shiny, or not shiny, we do have a Mega Mewtwo Y already, and I do feel like Mega Mewtwo Y is the more popular Mewtwo form, right? Um, so could we maybe get a shiny Mega Mewtwo X over here instead? But then make it like, make it like, sort of like Lopunny where it changes type on sync? Maybe? So it starts out psychic as like regular Mewtwo, but like after you sync, it turns into fighting, and then you get all like this other like stuff. I I feel like that could be a um, potential option there, right? Shiny Mega Mewtwo X. But in terms of like who it's gonna be, could oh could Red, could Red have the Shiny Mega Mewtwo X, and then like, and then Ash gets Pikachu, so there it's not freaking two Pikachu's, right? Because because I I've, I've always keep on been thinking about like how are they gonna avoid the double Pikachu, you know, sort of situation. Unless they're intentionally going for it, but if they want to try to avoid it, there are a few options, right? Either, either you give, like, Ash... Give Ash his, like, Greninja, or give Ash, like, Lucario or something else, or you give Red something else, whether it's, like, a Lapras, or, in this case, Shiny Mega Mewtwo X. Could be, right? Shiny Mega Mewtwo X. Uh, or, with a Leaf Alt, Leaf Master Fair Alt, mostly because the colors match that's the only reason i'm really saying this even though even though you know i'm shiny or me too whatever right is more associated with like green from let's go but like they haven't been adding let's go characters so <laughs> unless they add it here shiny mewtwo with like green but also shiny mewtwo with like leaf plus leaf hasn't gotten like anything in like ages <laughs> ever at like literally ever, ever since ever since um Ever since SS Leaf, which was first year anniversary, Leaf has gotten nothing. And Leaf is very, very popular. I mean, she's part of the Cantor Trio. The Cantor Trio is, you know, forever going to be massively popular. Right? And they're going to drop Red. Why not also drop Leaf there as well? Plus, Blue came back, right? 
with uh, with him getting a new EX, so maybe we'll get another Kanto Trio ish sort of um Kanto Trio plus Ash. Alright? So I do feel like, you know, if if Leaf could get something, maybe a shiny Mega Mewtwo X? Or maybe a shiny Mew. Because uh, Mew obviously is, is one of the I, I would say probably the most popular mythical, mostly because it's the first mythical. Right? Probably the most popular mythical is Mew. As, as much as you think uh, people think about Arceus, whatever, right? Or Selby or Deox. No, the most popular freaking mythical is Mew, alright? <laughs> but yeah, may maybe, maybe. Shiny Mew. Shiny Mew with Leaf. Shiny Mega Mewtwo X with Leaf. Oh. Or Thread. More Thread. Maybe Oak. Do like a Oak, Red, and uh, Ash sort of dy dynamic, maybe? Because they all have, you know, because the thing about Leaf is Leaf only really has that, you know, relationship with um, Red. But Oak, on the other hand, has a relationship with both Ash and both uh, Red. Which could maybe turn into an issue for, like, you know, canon-wise, right, for the, the anime and, and, and game. Which is why they might not do it, <laughs> so. <laughs> but, I mean, Oak, Oak was hype, it, you know, is a hype character. He was hype enough to be, like, the run-up for, like, the uh, anniversary character that I gave out, right, before, um, uh, the, 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 the um, uh, Red, right, all that stuff, so. Could be a possibility, could be a possibility. So, yeah, that's all the legendaries, I guess. Is there anything else I do want to mention? I don't know. If, if you watch this, it's it's a 46 freaking minute long video, man. I'm sorry. It's just that I, I'm trying my... Because I feel like... I feel like... Unless it's just straight up like Ash and Red. If there's more than just Ash and Red, it's almost impossible to really predict. So I'm, try, I'm trying my best. Alright. And, and, and I'm just going to say it outright. This is not going to be like a perfect video. There's definitely going to be things that I haven't thought about or haven't considered maybe glossed over just because there's so many pokemon masters they do not really follow patterns as much as people think they do right they always give you something surprising out of left field and it's just really really hard to predict it is what it is right it, it's i just feel like it's incredibly hard to predict um which is why a lot of my predictions generally not true although a few recent ones have hit pretty freaking hard so <laughs> i'll take credit for those at least but yeah, um, I mean, like, uh, like, uh, like, there's so many patterns that they just keep on setting for, like, and then, like, they repeat it once, and then, boom, you break it, right? As soon as people catch on the patterns, they break it. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe it's just Red and Ash. Maybe it's not Red and Ash at all, and it's, like, three other characters, like, second air anniversary. Or maybe it's Red and Ash plus one more character that could be potentially really, because, like, uh, I do feel like that option is, is definitely a big viable option, because of the fact that, um, Kanto has no master fairs, right? And so far, the symbol master fair passives that we've had are flag bearer, pride, and spear, right? For the certain regions. So if they do only throw out like ash and red, and they only have like two out of three of the master pass, that would be slightly awkward. It's not completely, you know, out of the question. I mean, there are regions with only two right now. Um, Alola has only master, uh, master or flag bearer and. Um, and 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 spear right is it called spirit or is it called soul i think it's called spirit right anyways whatever <laughs> you get the point so um uh, uh yeah of the possibilities we've talked about i do feel like the 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 third canto option with either a shiny mega mewtwo or a shiny mew could be an option or maybe again they go with like the birds for some reason um, but yeah, I do feel like the Kanto one is a pretty solid one. I feel like the Leon one's really, really solid, uh, because again of the, the Masters 8 thing. Alright, they might be going really, really hard into that. Um, what else? Sogaleo is a possibility if we're just looking from, like, a Pokemon Masters perspective. Um, uh, but again, into, like, a normie Pokemon audience perspective, it doesn't make that much sense, right? So, um, but I do hope it happens, personally. Uh, Xerneas and, and Diantha... This one also makes sense from both like a Masters 8 perspective and from a Pokemon Masters perspective, right? Like, could we get like the Fairy Zone, right? Fairy Zone with like Xerneas and, and really help boost up, you know, Fairy types over here with that. I think that could be really, really nice. Or, you know, if they do it with Zacian. Um, what else? The Uni ones. I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't really know. Other than I feel like Rosa <laughs> needs to get something. 
but like outside of that uh just just because unova villain arc seems very very close right um very big possibility the next villain arc is, is unova and that could be right after anniversary because our first villain arc was right after the anniversary last year but this might be like one month later this time just because we just had a whole villain arc right might be a bit too much uh, the Sinnoh ones, again, you do have the your Cynthia's in Master A. It doesn't make that much sense, Pokemon Masters wise, but Cynthia is in Masters A. Alright, so. Anyways, yeah, I feel like those options are, are pretty solid. If we want to look at, like, any trainers, um, that really, like, you know, deserve or, 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 or make sense. And, well, I don't want to say deserve, because I don't think anyone really deserves. <laughs> but um but in, in terms of like popularity wise there's anyone else i'd have mentioned in terms of like the master eight guys uh steven's in there too right it's like what ash the elaine dude diantha cynthia mm, steven leon lance and i'm i'm missing someone in there i i, I don't know someone else Oh, oh, um, Iris, Iris, which, uh, yeah, I don't, mm, maybe Lance, maybe they'll give Lance something, I don't know, what could Lance really get, could he, people say red Gyarados, but he already has, like, the regular Gyarados, plus his EX outfit has the red Gyarados on it, so I don't really think it's gonna be, like, Lance and, like, red Gyarados, but could it be, like, Lance with, Lance with, uh, I don't really know, man. <laughs> Unless they give him like a like an off-region Pokemon, because I don't feel like any of the Johto legendaries really fit him that much. Unless you really want to give him like a Entei, shiny Entei or shiny Raikou. Well, like maybe like an off off region like Dragon legendary, like Lance and like a shiny Zekrom. That would be slightly weird, but. Okay, okay, maybe. <laughs> She's like an off-region dragon Pokemon, but like, what else? Uh, again, Champion Iris. Uh, Iris Salt with... I don't really know. I don't really think Iris is getting anything. <laughs> I'm not even really going to entertain that idea, honestly. It might happen. It might happen. I'm not going to say it's like completely not going to happen, but... Because, you know, who knows what Pokemon just throws out these days. Uh, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough, man. It's tough to really guess. If you want, if you want to look at like pro tags, uh, I feel like all the major, like big pro tags, have gotten an alt this year, right? And let's be real, they are all the female pro tags, right? Which love it or hate it, they are more popular. It is what it is. Outside of red, all right? Uh, I mean, uh, Don got an alt. May got an all. May got two. In fact, Serena got her all. Right. I think. I feel like outside of red, those are like the three big pro tags. Um, if you look at like some of the other pro tags that maybe didn't get, like there are other pro tags that like Chris got her all, Larry got an all, Ethan got an all, Brendan got an all. But they're they're just not as like big as, you know, May, Dawn, Serena. Right. I feel like those are the three big ones. And then after that would be Leaf, which which is why I do feel like you know Leaf has has a solid chance. But outside of that. Um, we could take out no Johto, no Hoenn, obviously. Lucas just got his, like, and Lucas is not that big enough. Again, Gen 5. The other one, I would say, is would be Rosa, right? If we're looking at Protags, Rosa. Like, Hilda's got her ult as well this year. I'm, I'm not saying you can't get another ult, but, like, I don't... You'd have to be, like, again, like, May level popularity to get, like, that many ults. All right, and I don't think Hilda's up there. Um, Hilbert, Nade, those two aren't exactly, you know, that big either. Calum, actually, I found Calum has a, a, a decent bit of popularity, I guess now. Uh, but outside of that, Celine Elio, not incredibly popular either. Uh, oh, Gloria's the other big one, also got an all, right? And then, um, not a lot of people care about Victor, unfortunately. So yeah, anyways. That's weird, this one, I guess. I tried my best just going over a lot of options. Um, is that going to be everything? No. Like I mentioned before, I don't think I could go over everything. There might be things I've left out. Like, right now, one other idea that came to mind. Well, what about shiny pseudo-legendaries? Right? Well, 
Could be an option too, but damn it. It's already 50 something minutes video. I gotta stop this. I, I have to stop myself. Like every time I start thinking about like the average, like my brain just, <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't stop myself. I can't stop myself. Paul Mash is gonna, is gonna like break me like mentally someday. <laughs> it's gonna happen, man. It's gonna happen eventually. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, we'll see. We'll see soon. We'll see very, very soon. We'll see very, very soon. If it's, uh, if it's gonna be any of the things I've mentioned, maybe it's gonna be none of the things I've mentioned, or maybe it's just gonna be Red and Ash. Maybe it's gonna be none of the things I've mentioned, and it's not Red and Ash, which would be very, very surprising, but you know. Who knows, who knows? But uh, anyways, I've been this one. I hope you all enjoyed my guys. Think of the comments down below. Like, enjoy the videos, subscribe channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. You are um, an insane person if you watch the entire thing. <laughs> but um, you're a, a good kind of insane person, and, and I love you. All right, so, uh, have fun, folks. See you guys.